Get a wagon on the Moloch. Don Kada, let me tell you a story. How Eve nearly changed the course of history. It was during the time that the French were fighting to keep Louisburg. They were under attack from the British. All the travel routes were blocked and the French were running out of gunpowder. So what they did is they sent a messenger. The messenger from the French came to Unamagi to ask for help. The request was brought to the Mi'kmaq Council for them to decide. Nous avions toujours the Mi'kmaq always had a close relationship with us. They respected our land and there were marriages between the French and our people. After long discussions, the elders decided to help the, to help the messenger. And asked the messenger what they could do. What the French needed most was gunpowder. And so the messenger asked the Mi'kmaq if they could get some. The French knew that the Mi'kmaq knew their territory very well, and they can travel long distance without interference from anyone or from anything. And that they could travel the fastest and find the gunpowder. I don't know if the French knew this, but there were ones amongst our people that had special powers. They could do many superhuman things, including traveling great distances in a short time. These people were called Ginnaps. They knew exactly where to go and where not to go, to avoid the British. So the elders asked the Ginnup if they could gather the gunpowder that the French needed. The Ginnup agreed, traveling great distances. They finally covered enough territory and got all the gunpowder that they could carry. They started their trip back to Lewisburg. The Pedora Lakes was the main route at that time of year. So they started paddling their canoes, loaded down with supplies for their friends the French. On their way, they had to go by Malagowatch, so they decided to stop there and have some tea. Et comme ils arrivaient, les gens Just as soir, they were arriving, people were sitting down for a feast of eel stew. The people of Malagowatch realized that, that, that Ginnaps were tired. They could tell by looking at them that the Ginnap had traveled a great distance. The people of Malagowatch decided to feed them and give them all the eel stew that they wanted to eat. They Ginnup ate to their heart's content as they were hungry from a long journey. As a rule, when you are invited to a meal, you, you eat, sit back, and tell stories. But in this case, the people of Malagoas decided to let the Ginnup rest up so they can get back to their journey. So this is what they did. The eel has a side effect that makes you very, very sleepy. Everybody knew that, but the Ginnups were so happy with their feast, they forgot to ask the kind people of Malagoas to wake them up. Unfortunately, when the Ginnup laid back to rest, they all fell asleep. Because of the Mi'kmaq concept of non-interference, the Ginnups were allowed to sleep as long as they could without being interrupted. One of the Ginnups finally woke up, but a long time had passed. He woke the others. They packed up as quickly as they could and they started paddling. When they got to East Bay, to Idnuj, they left their canoes, got on their packs, and started and headed towards Lewisburg. Just before they got to Lewisburg, they noticed quite a bit of smoke in the distance. Hoping that it was just fog and that it wasn't too late, they kept going. When they got to Lewisburg, they found the fortress gates blown off. They found some soldiers and asked what happened. What they found is the French had run out of gunpowder. And the British had taken over. The Guinnaps were very sad that their friends, the French, had lost Lewisburg. What would happen now that the British held the fortress? I went up to the Iwani model, Wigan model. Talas is a hood. One of them said to the other, just think, how different could it have been if we didn't have that eel stew? And this is how eels nearly changed the course of history. Mm -hmm.